Hey guys, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. Um, I was looking on YouTube, as I do, as I'm sure you guys do, because you're doing it right now. <laughs> and uh, you know those fire starters that they have with the girls' uh, makeup pads? And they have people that are dipping them in wax and then taking them apart and lighting them and that kind of thing. So I thought, I've never tried that, I'd give it a shot. So I dipped the whole thing in wax and um, went to kind of take it apart and do the little ferro rod thing. And it was actually quite labor intensive. If you're outside, and shivering, it's hard to kind of get that piece big enough that you can hit a spark. So I started playing around. I'll put you down. There we go. These are the, the pads, right? These things here that women use them for their faces and stuff, right? <laughs> so I started playing around. I did the one that was full of wax and then um, kind of went to take it apart and you can see like if you're outside and you're cold this could be rather labor intensive and there's not a lot to light here and I tried lighting it and as you can see it lit and then kind of went out and you had to really manipulate it to get it to light so then I thought what I would do is where's the other one this one here is I would do half in wax and then keep half floppy right and this worked really well down this way. So watch this guys. So you just, you know, have the wax. So now you can split it in half and now it's like really simple to, you know, tear apart because there's no wax on it. And let me grab a ferrule rod and grab my knife. So now this is enough lit that um, it all goes up and the wax starts to light right away and there's really no effort whatsoever. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there's really no effort in, um, in tearing it apart because there's no wax in the way and lighting it literally instantaneously, one spark. Even if you really suck at using a ferro rod, this will light right away. So I'll make one for you. Just, I know it's, it's, it's pretty obvious, I'm sure, but let me just make one for you. So, okay, you take a pad, and I got my this, these things at the dollar store, and what I've done is I've made a, a channel so that I can, I'll just light this, so that I can uh, pour wax. So what I'm doing is I'm touching the, the, um, the flame to the side, and what it's doing is it's accumulating wax, like so. I don't care about the black wax, it doesn't make any difference to me. And then I, now I can just pour it, and I don't have to light a pot. I don't have to get a pot of wax or anything like that. I can just pour it and then just do it again. And it just accumulates the wax thusly. And then you would let this dry a little bit. I'm just going to turn it around right now because, you know, save time. And then do the other side. <clears throat> There we go. And it's done. So now you have half of it uh, with wax. And what I've done, the reason why I was grabbing it is I'm just gonna let it cool just a bit. And what I did is I just kind of pressed it with my fingers. It's still a little wet, but when it's a little drier and that way it makes this whole side waterproof. So then you have half of your thing with, um, with wax and half nut and even with gloves on here hang on I'm gonna put the gloves on okay so you guys back east minus 20 you can't take your gloves off and you need to start a fire now this is not going to be easy but I can separate this I'm doing this real time here. I'm not editing. This is like a fairly large pair of gloves. All right. Now I'm going to grab a ferro rod, all with gloves on. And done. So if you're freezing, this is a no brainer, right?
What do you guys think? I thought it was a really good idea. I've tried it a few times and um, it just seems like the best of all worlds. Um, you don't have to really try to get the wax away from the inside of the, of the pad and um, it just works really great. And again, if you really suck at using a ferro rod, it doesn't make any difference at all. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll talk to you guys later.